Hey, hey, hey. All right. Let's take a moment. We're just going to make sure everything's working just exactly right. <clears throat> okay. Looks like everything's working just exactly right. Pop that up, y'all. What do we got? We got Zap, we got Silver Duck, Tato, Damo's in the house, Tim, what's going on? First time catching the stream, working away to absolutely. Let's lock your door. <laughs> Pull the Costanza with. Just if anyone walks by, I just look really annoyed. They'll be like, damn, this guy's busy. <laughs> Russ in the house. Lil Pete. Babylon. Koopa. Call me D. Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, the arena stream. Yeah, we had some good games in that one. Mr. Dad. Toe Cutter. Damien. Madman Jer. Ooh, what do we got here? Man, these bureau projects take a while. I haven't been, uh, I haven't really been actively pursuing them, but if I understand correctly, the uh, Minotaur one, the project won't be there for, through the end of the update. We're getting relatively close here. Just taking our time, meandering around. Get that Montana. Vanguard. I got uh, the makings of the battleship rankings video done. Did the charts. Shot the footage. Was gonna maybe do that last night, but... That stuff takes a long time, so we didn't get around to actually putting the everything together but that video will probably be up tomorrow would be my guess there's only seven tier seven battleships tech trees but once again I think my picks surprise me a little bit they might surprise you goofers in the house what's going on Keith best name video <laughs> that's the key to working from home I like it Hey, Brett, what's going on? 93. Not much into streams. I'd like to catch mine if and when you can. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, it's kind of a nice thing. I got, you know, I do the videos and then the streams. I got different feels. Don't always appeal to everyone equally. Some people just like the videos. Some people just like the streams. Some people dabble in both. All right, we got some premium supplies to do today. Wayne, what's up? Luke, Kogishiwa, McCare. Got the PS5. Yeah, we've had it for a while now. Okay, we got the top 25 on the arena. That's not too bad. Let's see who got here. We got Mark. Demo, we got some guys. I think uh, AA, Ron, and Peak were probably in in the top ten. So we got some V bucks, two hundred, three fifty, four fifty. That'll bring us barely closer to the thirty thousand V bucks that we need. Smack the like button. Yeah, that's great advice. It actually does help the stream. Appreciate it. I think the Colbert with the gunboat build is good. Mm. 
I don't know. It's, I'd say it's still a good ship. I don't know if I'd set it up for pure gunboat, though. You kind of want to use the speed to get into spots that people don't expect you to be and then just slam them with torps. <laughs> you know, I was taking a shower this morning and I was thinking, man, I kind of feel like playing a Yudachi game. <laughs> I think we're going to go start off with that. Phil, what's going on? Yeah, Clover, I mean, the Clover took a nerf, but it was super, super strong to begin with, right? I'd still say it's a good ship. I don't, they don't seem to be... Uh, I feel like Tier 7, now that I've been making these uh, best of Tier 7 tech tree videos, I feel like that tier is pretty dialed in with the balancing pretty well. Uh, legendary tier, I feel like... Yamato is way better than everything else, and Alaska is way better than everything else. And... Yeah, no. Go from there. Okay. Minotaur. Alaska Rental. Mines. Friesland. Yeah, a fucking carrier. Jesus. This is not looking good. Need intelligence data for sure. <laughs> Definitely more of an upload guy. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You can always consider going back and watching the streams. A lot of people... You know, I stream it up usually about the same time. Although I, one of my goals is eventually to try and stream a little bit at night my time, just to give people a little bit more opportunity to participate. But a lot of people will go back and watch them. But you know, like I say, if you just like the videos, that's all good too. Oh yeah, let's give them one of these. <laughs> now, the set of smoke screen is kind of universal. It's like the word, f oh shit. It's gonna say like the word fuck, but shit will work as well. Stay away from me. Oh, he's got the jets. No, 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 no. Whew. Alright, that's dangerous. We got the carrier directly south of us. I think we'll try and snag B. I was going to initially try and grab A quick, but... The fact that that uh, plane's going to be running around... Oh, he wasted the whole speed boost. On my build with this thing, I got three speed boosts, so I like to get one for a nice early deployment. But we were foiled. Alright. Get away from me. Luckily he seems to be... Huh? Let's see if he responds to us. Seems to be more focused on bombing the bigger ships. Which is good. Spartan, what's happening? If they would only keep LT out of 2 7. Yeah, I don't. I think they should look at the feasibility of doing that. Like, if there's enough players in Legendary tier to warrant its own queue, then I'd be fine with it. The problem I would see is sometimes. I still see games where you can tell, like, you hit ready and then all of a sudden you're immediately in the game and it's like, you know, 6v6 or something. And you can tell that they were waiting in the queue for a few minutes. And I don't know if that's guys doing it to themselves because of the uh, network settings or what. I want to make sure this guy doesn't come over here. Man, they're just bombing on the turpits. Luckily, these planes... Our carrier is hovering over their destroyer, right? Their carrier is bombing our turpits. That's... Now they're going to kill the turpits, fine. But it's kind of night and day who you'd rather have on your team. In terms of the carrier. Unfortunately, these guys refuse to shoot their destroyer, which isn't... Uh, 
doesn't surprise me. We're on a legendary tier game, I suppose. Arena was rough playing with the randoms. Yeah, Arena, you gotta just have the mentality. You're just here for the brawls. I got Screamer Torps on. Let's see if we got the range. I think we do. We can see someone shooting right here. Now he, he thinks he's protected. But we do have Super Screamers coming his way. Oh boy. Get away from me. Kidding me. Oh, fuck. This ain't good. Alright, that was good. Alright, that was dicey. I think uh, Vanguard might go down, but assuming this carrier minds his own business, we should be able to grab this cap here. Now we're going to have to get back to B, defend that. If possible. Ooh, the Minotaur dev struck the Shima. Nice. Alright. That was the new sound for the Jets. That was, uh, I think that, was that this update or last update? I don't know. I think it was probably the one where they did all the sound effects. Des Moines, Minotaur rate of fire. Eh, I don't think it'll be quite that fast. It'll be... It'll be good. They need to just pump out all the cruisers. I think that would be... Step number one, give the uh, Yamato turret traverse 60 seconds. We were talking about that last stream. That ship is ridiculous. Alright, so now the problem that this these guys have is they don't have a destroyer. Oh, shit. I wonder if our Lexington knows what's going on here. I might try and nuke the Bismarck. Because... We're down in ships, we're up in caps. We'll come around, we'll see what the challenge they have to be. Carlos coming in hot, almost as popular as Set of Smokescreen. Get back! Get back! Carlos, I don't know if you noticed last night, but I did do you dirty. In an arena match, I apologize. Carlos was in the Stalingrad, he had a Minotaur and a Grober. Appreciate it, buddy. Tube light, what up? Want the Hindenburg? Yeah. Yeah, the Hindenburg. Hindenburg, Des Moines, Zao. I think all these things should be good. See, if Red loses this game, they're kind of doing it to themselves. You know what I'm saying? They need to be on the caps, like, minutes ago. In fact, you can make a case I should be on, uh... A, but I think trying to preserve this carrier, if we can do it. Well, it looks like he's going down. So, the question then becomes, do we adjust? We'll try and hit him with a shot here. We got seven kilometers. Just because he doesn't, he doesn't know we're here. We haven't been seen for a while. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to go full on. Either get onto A or just defend these caps. See if we can catch him with a surprise. Alaska is in radar range. They don't know that we're here yet, though. Let's 
You can get off. Once he sees those torps, he should pop the radar and shoot us. So this is pretty dangerous. We got the short range torps on, of course. But we gotta make some moves. Shison. So he probably saw those torps. Let's see if we can catch him. Surprise, there's no radar here. Although it is a rental. <laughs> Read into that as he may. Poo! He got He gave me a nice work from the grave. I like that. Alright, so now we really don't have a challenge over here to A. We're down big in score, unfortunately. I think we're going to have to probably get some kills. But if we can get three caps, that'll be a nice start. We do have five minutes to work with. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind, it was all for naught. Shit. Oh, he tried. What could he do? Now, there is new rules in place, right? For how long the dead carriers can be in the sky. I don't remember the time limit. I do not recall... What's up, Mopar? Okay, here we go. John Paul Smith coming or not. Loving the content. First class, you met a jerk. Thank you very much, John Paul Smith. Alright, we lost our spotting, which is a disaster because we needed it. Now we need kills. Let's see if we can catch these guys. Damn it. All I needed was that spotting for just a couple more minutes. Yo ho ho! We are fucked! Damn it! Just missed him. Come on, you gotta do it to me! Why you gotta do me like that, man? Oh well, he tried. Wicket, what's going on here? Doing good, Mopar, doing good. Red to the R ships, just a potato a little harder. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Yeah, arena match last night made me turn the game off. I had Yamato, my team shot Yamato R shot H E the whole time. I was like, oh man. Alright, well. That's what we get for playing higher tiers. We'll bounce around today. See, Dachi Games, the epitome of your matches last week. <laughs> Let's turn on the old premium filter and see what catches the eye. Let's go way back. Every time I go way back, I got my ships sorted by last plate. Every time I go to the, the nether reaches, I'm like, oh man. It's a lot of dog shit. Well, these are all destroyers. Hmm. Olea, what up? This weekend I was warning how bad it was. <laughs> uh, the Grammy. Now the Duke of York we haven't played for a while. Let's check this bad boy out. Uh, we got an Arctic skin, nice. 
Hmm. Ah. Let's give it a whirl. 30 second reload. Looks like the HE is pretty high. Yeah, let's fire it up. Salty, what's happening? Cossack OP. I think I was looking at the gallon. Maybe I said Cossack. We'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at it. Remind me, we'll play it. <laughs> I think initially when it came out, I was like the only guy out of all the reviewers that was like, this ship's pretty good. I just got like slathered. And then now, I, Salty's one of my uh, DD minds that I trust more than most. So if he says it's good, it might be, might be worth checking out here for show. A regular your model spin. <laughs> yeah, that is true, yes. That is true. Hey, Myron. Improved AP pen angle, so okay, it's good to know. Make a vid of you, Baltimore. I did like a week ago. All right, what do we got? We got no destroyers. We got cruisers and battleships. All we got to do basically is stay away from the guys' nose. Should be easy. The Grimlock. Well, yeah, I think we tried it last stream, but if you remind me. Oops, a little low on the first one. Yep. Yeah. I think Ganizna already went around the island, which is <laughs> not threatening, huh? There he is. Oh, you've been spotted! They're gonna hurt, bud. There we go! Enemy cruiser sunk. Off to a cracking start. Jolly good chat. Can I use no shooting HE? Bring it on. Fire. Oh, you want some? Uh, three shatters and a skip. That is disappointing. All right. Your mouth makes wind. Better than my butt making wind, you know what I'm saying? This guy up. I guess we might as well keep shooting. I was hoping this thing was going to come right around broadside and go for dev strike number two, but... I don't know what's going on with this Gnizenau back there. Oh. Kabna. Got robbed of the base drop. <laughs> there you are. Jesus. Got slammed. Argzus, thanks for subbing. Ah, bull. Come on, man, give me some juicy shit. God damn! What's wrong with our armor?
Man, the city Oba. I feel like we'd be doing fine if we get C here. Hey, yeah, see, doing good. The old butt wind. <laughs> ah! Man, alive. I know what I want to do. And it's just beat the living shit out of this Aoba. Unfortunately... We're not getting the cooperation we need. Yes. Hmm. Not above the belt. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Shison. This is coming to an end. Let's see if I can whack the uh, Surrey before we go. It's a surprise to you that the entire team's shooting me. It shouldn't be, because every one of my team is going over here. Should not be a surprise at all. Oh, well. We had some laughs. Shed some tears. One, two, three, four. Oh. And this guy's technically, quote unquote, helping. Alright, 0 for 2. Let's keep it going. Black hole for me. <laughs> no do to boot that one. Yeah, what do we got? We got regular smokes, right? Two of them. Engine boost. Three, two. Let's give it a whirl. Duke of York armor. Yeah, I maybe should have probably paid attention to the armor view when we took a peek at it earlier. I think we we're a little too front and center there. I mean, you know, we playing conservative that round with the entire team going. One ship could have captured C, right? Not six. So, you know, if I'm trying to play it safe there, then we're just going to concede the game, which I don't have time to do that. I got shit to do today. We're not going to concede games. What's up, Kevin? The tater tot whirlpool into the grinder. <laughs> Baltimore, we'll probably take a look. So we run the orc commander, the ram. No, I haven't run the ram build. Alright, I'll well, go and attempt to spot for these boys over here. Looks like we got. Tier 7s, Key, Bismarck, Suzuya, I think the highest DPM ship at the tier, Fiji, Dangerous, Kagero, Terrible, Team of Sheep, absolutely, Daddy Matty, what up? 
Only 70 some likes. What the hell's going on, guys? Yeah, let's run that up. We got 150 people watching. Let's run it up. We can do it. I believe. Secondary. <laughs> I should have probably asked Salty how do we play this shit before we play. I haven't played this thing in probably a year. Oh well, we'll jump right into it. Can't get much worse than we've already seen, right? Playing after the reset. What do we got? One launcher. Better make it count. We'll give these guys an opportunity. If they want to use this cover, we'll try and spot for them. Kind of a nasty spread on these little guys. Nothing happening there. There we go, 105 likes. That's much better. Thank you. It actually does help the stream out with YouTube. There he is. Huh. Seems to be a rather passive match. Here's our Kagero. Edenberg should fuck him up. Let's see if he does it. Oh, he shot his guns. Nice. Holy god, these are floating. Not that he needs our help, hopefully. Oh god. There we go. That's why I don't rush a fucking Edenberg. <laughs> there's ships to rush and there's ships to not rush. Now, if you're writing them down, put the Edinburgh on the ships to not rush list. Okay. That one's pretty cut and dry. Even a thousand likes? Yep. Appreciate it. Oh! Suzuya widespreads. Make one of those. Alright, can we pressure the base or not? I don't think with all this shit over here. I'm not really able to spot these guys for some reason. I'm trying to keep everything lit so we can keep the damage coming. Might look like we're not doing much. Maybe we aren't. I don't know. There he is. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Every time we spot him, they shoot something else. Smoke generator activated. Set the smoke screen. Should have single launched these. We have the single launch, right? Yeah, fuck. Let's see if he's paying attention over here or not. Get back! Get back! Smoke screen set. The die is cast now, as they say. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, we've done done it now. Critical engine damage. Apparently the Bismarck didn't like getting torped. Alright, that was dicey, but we got away with it. 
Good cartoon coming in out with a five spot. Thank you very much. Oh, the mic drop. Thank you very much. Good car cartoon. Only 15% of the player base knows how to play. Is it that high? Well, that's an improvement. We're getting somewhere. All right, let's see if we can find the other guy. Terrible. As long as it doesn't get tore, I don't know. Oh. Toe Cutter checking in. Member for three months. Appreciate the continued support. Where was the destroyer last seen? I thought he was over here. I saw Torps coming this way. Maybe they never actually spotted him. Appreciate the support, guys. There you are. The Loy Yang has the tools to deal with them. Just zone this gap if we could. Roger. We're just gonna put him right here. Alright, where is the terrible? Zach, it's going good. Spotted geckos in the house. What up? American made. What's happening? Appreciate everyone swinging by. Now we killed our Loy Yang somehow. It's quite distressing. You gotta realize when these planes are up that your torps are gonna get spotted, so... That's gonna lower your odds even more. Let's see if we can hit anything. Hello? Nada. Yeah, we don't have smoke ready. We don't have the most effective smoke sonar combo with the 3-2 range. It's pretty rushable. I think we're... Oh, fuck. Suzuki's got a free access to the base. We've already lost the game. Son of a bitch. Oh and three, oh and three, keep it going. That's how we roll around here. We lose games like a madman. Man, I'm uh, I'm not. I didn't pick up what you're seeing. This thing, this game, salty. I'm gonna be honest with you. Granted, it wasn't the best situation. Capture the base mode, the destroyers not being that aggressive. Kind of tough to counter shit. Torpedoes to port. Suzuki wrecking the right flank. The Suzuki is extremely strong. Torpedoes to port. I think his DPM is like 340 or something like that. These damn planes again. Ends in five minutes. They all got planes up. How many fucking planes do you get? Yeah, this guy we're gonna have to straight up fight, which is not gonna be fun. Jesus. This guy's spotting at the moment. He's about to die, though, so we're gonna have to do this quickly. 
No options. Smoke generator activated. <laughs> Classic might be as salty as normally is to you. <laughs> I mean, it, this wasn't a great game to test much out, you know. We're kind of relegated to spotting for most of it. Come on. Nice shot. Oh. That sucks. Three forty with the torps. No, that's just the gun. It's the max damage per minute. So it's, you're never going to actually see that much damage in any game. But it's basically what you do is you take 60 seconds divided by the reload time, multiplied by the number of gun barrels, and then multiplied by the number of max damage, AP, HE, whatever you're calculating. We are right in the middle of these two. It's all on you. It's all on me. This thing sucks, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh. Should we try and gun down a Helena? We'll see if these torps hit. Matt, these guys have had planes up the whole game here. What is going on? Damage control game? Yeah. I get it. I mean, you guys are playing in teams a lot. Some of these ships are better for divisions. I didn't feel like we had the tools to do much this game. Let's get it all. Man, this key does not want to get torped. What the fuck? Critical engine damage. <sighs> Salty's hipster ship. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I didn't feel a tingle going up my leg on this one. Oh well, we'll play it again in another, another year or so and see if it. Catches our fancy then. Man, we got wasted by a New Orleans sitting in the base the whole game. That sucks. Oh, what's going on with the Brits today, man? They're not treating me very well. Let's bring it down a notch. I think high tiers are not working out. 
Oh my god, we won a game? How the fuck did we win this game? They killed everyone. <laughs> How did you fucking lose that, blue? Or red? All I had to do was congregate around B and then just slam those guys as they came around the island one by one. Instead, they sail directly into the black hole, and the only ship that mankind has ever built that can sail directly into a black hole and survive, the Pablo. Not recommended. I think I'll try this with Billy Sims. Check out this build. We got Dimitri Dewey and Sharnhorst. Burning engine. <laughs> yeah, well, with the Baltimore, yeah, yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's get up to 150 likes first, then we'll consider it. And see what we can do here. We got almost 200 people watching. I think we can get 150. Red tried to win harder, they absolutely. They had the game locked up. Like, the entire blue team moved to the east side of the map. And Red had two caps. How can you fucking lose that game? By going into the black hole, one by one by one by one. You know, I'm down for that. Let's give him a hard time. Look at all these cruisers, man. We got Billy Sims with a Tejas and a Fuso. These guys are fucked. These guys are royally fucked. Low animal, what up? Flammable cannoneer. Yeah, I don't have... I don't think I got... I noticed it on one line yesterday. What was it? I can't remember. Most of my uh, accuracy builds, I've taken slot one and put it on the AA usually. So yeah, a little bit of extra grouping, but like a 10% chance to burn or something like that. That's not, not viable in today's world. Come a lot. Uh, shot low because I was trying to work the turrets. Matthias, thanks for subbing. This wasn't too low. We'll do better next time. Just an er bit of spotting, that's all I need. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be a long one. This is going to be a long one. Should be right about there. I can't imagine we got something. There you are. There you are, governor. Why'd you damage count the single fire? Well, we're planning on being behind this cover for a little while. So the majority of the cooldown, we got 60 seconds till it's uh, available again. The, you know, a good chunk of this, we're not going to be, it's not going to be possible to burn us. So it's not as detrimental. With If you pop the damage control and put out the fire, then you immediately set on fire again. That's a lot of sustained damage. That's going to be tough to get back.
Any member streams coming soon? Yes, I will check my sketch here. I think it was next Sunday, I want to say, but I don't want to... I want to confirm that... Before we make it official. But yeah, I'll check that after this game. We'll get it on the books. I think they got both the battleships on the west. We can kind of take control of the middle here. Get rid of these cruisers, open up the way to the base. I don't want to get too far from my base because they do got a heavy push coming through here. Black holes on both sides, yep. Konigsberg rushes. Looks like he's already missed the torps. No, I might get one on. Ooh. Got him! Odin worth the green XP? Yeah, Odin's solid. Almost 150 likes. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Keep hope alive! I think this Furutaka shot once the entire game. Let's wake him up. Not the easiest shot, but I think we might connect. So they've kind of, by going that way, they've removed the one thing I was worried about, which was those guys pressuring our base from that route. So now we're going to sit in the middle and just bomb on anything that comes through. Last one was some of the most funny events. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the member streams are the highlight of the month in terms of gameplay. this guy come from? I didn't even think he was spotted. You know, you can try doing what you're doing. My damn guns would have gotten on target here. We could have gotten the double. Ah! Hey, Stylo. Come on. It's an easy street match. What's a member stream? Well, the guys in green, those are the members of the channel. The green names. But then basically what we do, we got this website that has like a universal clock that's got the same time no matter where you are in the world. So we get that up there, and then we'll say like, at okay, two minutes after will be the next game, tier five. And we all launch at the same exact moment. Okay, and until we get the training rooms, this is the best way we can stack the games. But what's happening in these games is you got, you know, the members of the channel usually tend to be more serious players on the whole. Or at least knowledgeable at the very beat. Not, you know, it's not necessarily all grade A players, that's fine. But it's players that are, like, at least trying to win the game, you know, which is a breath of fresh air. So we wind up having, you know, we'll play three, four hours usually. 
wind up having just great match after great match. It's a lot of fun. Come on, man, what the fuck? Yeah, it's... I mean, once once the training rooms come in the game, then we'll just... We'll say, okay, who's the members that are playing today? We'll form lists, and we'll play like two, three games, cycle through the guys, and we'll just manually add everyone to the same game. So it'll be 9v9 members every time. But currently, some games, you know, it depends on the tier, what you're playing. But we've had some games where we're almost every single player in the game, which is... Those are when it gets really juicy. That's a lot of fun, though. So yeah, let me again, we'll grab my schedule here. Yeah, it looks like the plan for next weekend, we'll do a normal stream Saturday. And then Sunday. That'll be the member stream. Sunday the 16th. You're supposed to blow up, exactly. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got 150 likes. Alright, we can play the Baltimore. We'll go premium Baltimore. Where the hell? Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Can maybe bust out the Fusa. Yeah, yeah, we could maybe do that. Potato member, but he got good legs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, there's still a range of skills, but the point is usually, you know, like in half of the games that we'll play today on the stream, the majority of people on my team will not be trying to do anything that would actually be called a winning strategy. They're just out there fucking around, you know, which is fine if that's what they want to do. They have every right. But it does get a little annoying after a while. This is going to be tough. And the last guy in a Yamata... Yamator! Yamator! Kevin. Oh, we got enough credits for the rentals. <laughs> General, quarters. General Quarters, sir! Well, we're gonna play a risky spot. Almost every single time I play here, I get my ass kicked, but I cannot help myself. I just can't help myself. Matt, welcome to the channel, members. Appreciate it. And keep in mind, uh, if you join the Discord, with the links in the description of the, the uh, stream here, if you're on there, send me a message on the Discord private messages. Let me know your YouTube name. I'll get you set up with access to Dewey's Lounge. That's the smoke-filled uh, room with all the whiskey and the members. You have people on your team that want to and know how to win and so refreshing. Yeah, that's a great way to put it, yeah. So normally, I mean, even a lot of these guys that would like to win the games, they just don't really know... They don't know how to do it very well, you know. Like I was talking about on the brawling video, there's kind of two simultaneous games happening. Alright, there's the race to a thousand points. And then there's a race to zero team HP. And it, the value of one strategy over the other is going to change over the course of the match. Or the viability of the strategy, I should say. This position always gets you stuck, yeah. It's not great, because the problem is usually these guys will push up into this spot right here, and then you can get cross-fired. It's like really high risk, but... Uh, 
Well, like I say, we just sometimes they just can't help it. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. We'll try and entice them to move over here. I'm more worried about the Grober than the Alaska, even though they both can tear me to shreds. Oh, God! Oh, I thought I was stopped. Whoops! Oh, I need help! You're in the fucking back. What do you need help with? You can't hit anything. You can't possibly make a contribution. Which begs the question, what do you need help with? You're not doing anything. It's the fucking destroyer that needs your help. Someone's targeting us. But I think it's because these guys aren't spotted. Ah, oh my god. That's some good awareness right there. Never mind. A lot of times if you, like, if I'm the only one getting spotted by the plane, these guys will automatically, you know, uh, just target me. Well... I think we're probably going to die now, but I'm kind of committed to the bit. This match isn't really looking that promising anyways. Clearly we're not going to get that cap. That's abundantly clear. The only question now is do we die for our insolence? Man, this Grover is fucking worthless back here. I'd be bored stiff. Main turret critically damaged. Damn it, Eugene. All right, we got a real strong battle line back here. The problem is, if our team looked on the map, all the caps are two squares in front of said battle line. So we're actually conceding the game just because everyone's pissing their pants. Run away. Run away. Let's give them a get back. Get back. Get back. You guys are way too close to the action. You're almost relevant there. Get back. You got at least three squares of getting back to work with. Enemy Whiskey room, your living room. <laughs> oh, man, these guys. I would just be bored stiff with their lives. See if we can snag B here. I don't think we'll be able to. But the Grover. We'll take another really high risk, dumb position. I think we'll play right about here. See if we can get this cap. I'm just feeling like playing really poorly. Well, how the. Lay Yacht Dust. It's too late now. God, this game sucked. Get back, man! You almost can get shot where you're at. Way too fucking close. The enemy team is the lead. Gotta get to work, don't kill them all. Thank you, Toe Cutter. Won't be an issue that game. We're unable to do anything.
appreciate the support, though. Man, the high-tier waters are real fun today, aren't they? What else do we need? I think we need a tier 5. Your entire team's dead in less than 5 minutes. That's one option. You can either have that, or you can have my team, which they all sail to the back of the map. They've been reading a lot about this James Webb telescope. Most powerful telescope ever constructed by mankind. They're like, let's try this shit out. Let's get as far away from anything useful as we can possibly imagine. And then we're just going to look through the fucking telescope. Let's let you give up three caps right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's try this strategy. Let's see if we can concede all the points. What are our odds? Jack coming in out. Hey, Tebow, can we get an Odin game next? Yes, I think we could probably do that. Now, I haven't revealed my DPM chart for Tier 7 yet, but I think Odin might be the top dog. Let me check quick. Let me just pull up the numbers. It's a trap! Odin. Highest AP DPM, second highest HE DPM, damage per minute. Okay. Look at the cruiser fest. The team, I was engaging comment, yeah. I just, like, the minute the puck drops, they're like, we give up. What the fuck is wrong with these guys, man? I don't know, you gotta... Maybe I got some rampant ADD or something, because I would be bored and stiff sitting back there not doing anything. Oh, I need intelligence! Oh, well, we tried. We'll try better. <laughs> Baltimore. Usually you can pretty squeeze out some good games out of that one, but you gotta have a like, little cooperation. Where are the uploads? They're on the channel. Let's go to the channel, click on my name, go to videos. I need intelligence data! That's all you got for me, huh? Yeah, this is already looking like a tough game. Telling the carrier to get back. He's already backing up, dog. Don't worry about it. We either got a kamikaze or the other guy. On second thought, let's not go there. Just a silly place. Alright, we got B. I think we should have A, if they can get whatever destroyer that is. Oh, there's the kamikaze. So we got T-61, just as dangerous. We 
When you see your CV say I need intelligence data, all hope is lost. Yeah. Not a good sign. Don't die before I can help you, please. Yeah, this is gonna be a fucking struggle all day today, I think. Shoot them with your fucking guns, man! Use your guns, Luke! Why are you fucking torping? Is a one-shot! Jesus Christ almighty, these guys are so... ...not in tune with what's going on here. God damn it. What's up, Meta? You should get in high cruiser count games, yeah. That's the plus. We're not converting them into anything interesting, though. These guys refuse to fucking shoot. I don't understand. Good news is the T-61's a one-shot, so I should be able to blow his ass up. <coughs> Check this shit out. Oh. I'm trying to go for style points, but we should go for the kill. A little bit more focused on what's going on here. If the T-61 was coming around, I was trying to double strike those two, but... We don't need to get cocky yet. are you doing? I'm hoping the pod's covering the destroyer. Fucking planes, man. <laughs> Great tactics. I wonder if I aimed right there if it hit the island or if it would hit the Dallas. Just got enough. I'll trade this ship for the destroyer. Oh, fuck that. Now they're going to have a hard time.
You see how different that game is if the Fubuki shoots his guns once? That cap is taken, now they have to push into it. Should be an automatic win. Here, this is going to be real hard for this team to win this game. Yeah, there's no shot. Fuck. Shoot your fucking guns, guys. The winter fear. Winter gift flurry? I never even figured out how to do that thing. Build a rebuild would have saved you. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right there. Well, that drops us down below 500 again. Alright. New Year's, same game. I'm not seeing a lot of difference. <laughs> Legendary, what up? Oh, you already got the Missouri unlocked, huh? Nice. There, we're back at high tiers again. Let's give them a hard time. Doesn't seem like the best idea. So I, I'm assuming you had to actually get on the web to give the gifts. You're back? Alright, zap. So on his lunch break. Where are we at here? We're just 29 likes shy of 200 likes, and we got about 200 people watching. And I know a lot of the guys that already liked have gone on, they've moved on with their lives. Means we got fresh likers available. I believe in you. Missouri before the Murmansk. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not really sure where the new spawns are in this map yet. Just causing problems. God damn. Fucking Alaska 12k on one shot, huh? A minute and a half into the game and you pick up your fucking controller. Man, I'm glad you're on my team. German BBs. I wouldn't call them snipers yet, but they're definitely getting more accurate every time they get buffed. <laughs> I was shooting all the footage for my uh, Battleship video, you know. Kraken and the Bismarck. We'll probably take a full look at that game. I'm like, damn, these guns aren't as... Nearly that bad, you know, even with uh, Ciliax running the show. Hold that spot, please. Hold him. Hold him. Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? I got all riled for that. At least you picked it up eventually, yeah. Baby steps. We gotta see baby steps. Oh fuck, I don't even think the back gun cleared. Might have one shell. There it is. That's how you steal a kill, baby. One shell. That one looked... If you're not familiar, uh, there's a visual bug that if you're like this close to an island, uh, your shells will 
visually look like they've gone through, but for all intents and purposes, they've actually been blocked. That's what was going on there. I should have shown you guys my build. I got a super reload build. Reload and speed on this thing. Look at this. We got a 14 second reload. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot what ship that was. That wasn't... No, the Alaska was the one that pushed. Kamikaze. Do your job, Rental. Who are the inspirations? Uh, oh, God. We are fucked. Mistakes were made. Ah, I'm done. Um, Sharn. Well, it's a Sharnors commander, I believe, with uh, Pablo and. Uh... Oh, Gwep. Emily. Everything was going alright until that uh, Shima spotted us. This Minotaur will fuck us up. Alright, so we're two and four today, I believe. There you are, you motherfucker. We'll see if you can kill me before I can fuck these guys up. Missed! That's a problem there. We can't be missing those shots. Fuck. Look at these fucking blue guys. They're just sitting back there. I hope they're enjoying watching this shit. Yeah, we got flushed by that fucking Shima, and it was all downhill from there. Damn. Thought we were gonna play some fucking good games today, but that was a pipe dream and a half. Alright. Use a rental. Well, I hope you do better than uh, rental on our team. He doesn't have a fucking idea what's going on. It's a trap! Alright. King George. Byron. P.E. We got Atlanta with a radar. Fiji is a major problem. Just the one destroyer, so we gotta really keep an eye on him. They got an extra cruiser. Z-35, I'd probably take that over Jervis, though. So we're, pr we're roughly equal, I'd say. I'd rather have an extra cruiser than a battleship. Probably not gonna have any spotting over here. This guy doesn't know you can auto-steer your plane, so he... Oh, now he launches. Alright. 
play some Roma. See the giddy spotting over here. Planes are going right up the gut. That's pretty good. It only cures more smoke screens. So yeah, that's the cure of pretty much all ills. Set a smoke screen. You can mix in some intelligence data. Wanted a full salvo, goddammit. Duck flag. Alright, so nobody's on C. I could probably maybe think about getting on there. I think the uh, carrier would have spotted the destroyer on that line that he took. We can get rid of the radar, or the Atlanta and the Fiji would be kind of the top priorities. Fuck. Alright. I don't want to be tethered with these guys, so we're going to get on C, we'll capture the base and create crossfires into the mid. What's up, Randy? How you doing? Used to follow you religiously, took a break, coming back now. I appreciate it. Glad to have you back. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Attention. Reporting a target's position. Two shots behind the guy. God damn. I suck. All stations, concentrate fire on that target. This is a pretty good positioning by here. What you want to do is see like where the bulk of your forces are and then put yourself behind them as the carrier player. Nice shot there. Yeah. That should hit him. There we go. Attention, reporting a target's position. Hmm. Fuck, every time I reload, they're behind the island. Okay. I don't think the King George has shot once this game. <laughs> Should have been on my team. God damn it. Took too long to line up the shot. Fire. <clears throat> now we're going to have a hard time even getting the base. I have a real hard time getting the base. Problem sources. Capture that area. Oops. I 
Just got to assume he stuck his nose out there to torp. Fire. Oh, here he comes for the kill. Yeah, always once they once you dodge and they see it, a lot of times they'll try and shoot. I think the PA, we'll get the PA one free shot. We gotta get our cap here. God damn it. We got a one, two, three, four, five v one on A, but they refuse to get on the fucking base. Games are way too hard today. Main turret critically damaged. Can't get anything going. Oh, he was trying to ram his ass. Our team has taken the lead. We got a minute till we can get a heal off here, so I'm going to see if we can stay alive. Attention. Reporting a target's position. We'll kind of slow play it a little bit here. So we got A, we're getting B. If the Jervis wants to rush me, I can blow him up. But uh, going down, I mean, I, this should be loss proof, but you guys have seen what's going on today. Bonds facing the way they do. Yeah, that that's that's not very well understood by a lot of people. That's like why fault line is so fucked up, is because the south middle spawn points to the left. And this same thing here. Like when we played this north side last game, we sparted here and then we went to cover basically you know this gap where we are right here. But usually they send a funnel of like six ships over there, and it's just due to how they spawn, pointing, which direction they're pointing. So I'd agree with that. I don't know if the designers are doing that intentionally or if they just throw them down and don't really think about it. I would assume they're thinking about it, but you never know. Could we do what we're doing while being on the cap? I think so. I know this game should be lost proof, right? Brandon, what up? Sold champagne. I'm not exactly Mr. Champagne, but I wouldn't sell it. That was a great battle. Not from my end. Fighter airborne. 
Looked to me like we had a five on one and we were ignoring the cap the whole time. Alright, we'll take a win any way we can get it today. Beggars cannot be choosers. And we're begging. Pleading. Anything. Give us a win. Let's see what's going on in tier 6. Well, we already won our Duke of York game. So from a premium supplies perspective, I think we got tier 7 and legendary tier left. Which is scary, because those, those uh, tiers have already scarred me for life this morning. Ugh. What do you guys think? All right, we're three likes shy at 200 now. I know we can hit that. Come on. Gotta go, Baltimore? All right, thanks for hanging. Slow the Katori. <laughs> I mean, a goofball or... I wouldn't recommend selling any ships, period. I mean, I don't keep my tier ones or twos. And even the tech tree tier threes, I should probably get rid of from a clutter perspective. Let's take a look at the tech... Tech Tree Tier 3, see if I play any of them. Kuma we played the other day. Ishizuki I would play once in a while. Danae I would play once in a while. The Doogie, maybe. The Gangat. We could even play a Gangat right now. Isakaze is like the poor man's Kamikaze. Yeah, a lot of these ships I just straight up wouldn't play. Let's try the Gangit. Why are games rough today? Um. Well. It depends on your perspective. If you're just out there playing grab ass, then they've been glorious games. If you're trying to win the game. You know, I was thinking about this driving around the other day. Like, let's say we're playing basketball. Now, in basketball, you have, like, I don't know if there's set plays. When I used to play basketball as a kid, we'd, like, throw up a number two, and then it would be like, okay, this is the offense we're running. You know, and then everyone's roughly on the same page. Here, it's impossible to be on the same page. Like, even if these guys actually know what they're doing, which is not the most common occurrence, but even in those cases, getting on the same page... Is tough to do, you know. Like I, I, I put up these videos. I tell you the strategy I'm pursuing, and I, in my mind, if other people are pursuing the same strategy, then they're playing the map right. But there's undoubtedly different winning strategies that you could use at a given moment. But there's also guaranteed losers, like uh, sitting way up on Timbuktu, conceding all three caps, and then seeing what happens. You'll have about a five percent win rate if that's what you're gonna try and do G101 eh, that was alright the guns are so shitty that I just don't personally like playing it but I liked it when it was before the Germans came out you'd be like sailing around the German ship and everyone would be like whoa what's going on with this guy nine gang it's one Yamato <laughs> Yes, I like that. The training rooms are just going to be a revolution for the content creators. What's our turret situation? So we got two forward moving ones, turret one and three. Yeah. Turrets two and f oh great we got a flyboy coming in. Curiously enough though it seems like we have AA going off. <laughs> Did 
Doing good, Marble Flint. Good to see you. Hopefully you're having a good day at work. We're risking a lot here. Let's see if we can survive. Whew. We risk it all. Oh, gang it. Even when you're brought ah oh, fuck. There we go. Even when you're broadside, a lot of the ships don't have the firepower to really punish you. We'll see if we have enough firepower. Not really. Well, two two hits, one shit. No, one overpen and one skip. It's just a bad aim, I guess. Oh god. All I want to do is shoot that thing. Denied. <laughs> Electric Avenue. I think this guy's trying to ram his golden fist up my tailpipe. Could be disastrous. That's not what I want to be doing this morning. Oh, you bastard. That thing stops on a dime. Not that I'm ever really in the mood to get my tailpipe uh, jammed up like that, but definitely not this early. to the modernized gangets. That sounds intriguing. I mean, this ship, I don't play it too often, but when we're out there doing our tier 3 games and you just straight up cannot damage this. Like, if you're in a cruiser, it's 100% fire damage. Skips? Jesus. This guy's getting a little, uh... He needs to be punished for his insolence. Difference between a subscriber and a member. So the subscribers, basically, you've alerted to YouTube. You like the channel. They'll hopefully notify you, but they'll present the videos in the feed. So on and so forth. Members, you actually pony up some cash. It's either $1.99 a month or $4.99. So it's a good way to support the channel. Keep the lights on, as they say in the business. Both heavily appreciated. You know, subscribing is useful because, like, I've had it happen to me where, yeah, I'll watch some... I'll watch a channel for a while, but then... How YouTube works is if you stop watching, like, all the new releases of a channel for, like, let's say a week or two weeks, well, then they're like, oh, okay, they've moved on with their lives, they're not interested anymore. Uh, we won't recommend that anymore. And so sometimes I'll be, like, six months later, be like, well, what was that channel? I could go for some more of that content. But if you can't remember the name, it's going to be really tough to actually find it again. So even if I'm, like, taking a break, like, uh, was it Paul or someone popped in earlier saying they took a break for a while? As long as you, if you're still subscribed, you can find it a lot easier in the future. That's kind of the primary benefit. Yeah, to actually get the notifications, I think you have to turn the bell icon on. Hermit's better than Marblehead. What's the difference? Hmm. 
want to get too far from the base. Well, they don't have anything that can pressure the base without us knowing about it. This guy has been a uh, thorn in me sides. What in the fuck, man? I think the Ganget might have pea shooters. Blue tracers instead of red ones. <laughs> True. All right. If we can't damage them from that angle on that distance, we got no hope. Oh, he's stuck. You're jonesing for the Romo. What's up, Joshua? Double, double, double! Ah! Oh. Damn it! I knew that Arkansas was popping off when we saw that high caliber. He's an FE. He's a real. Uh, he's an OG, as they say. Got my boy Pablo up to 16-3 last night. Had three uh, blue combinations laying around. On top of the four he already had loaded in. And since I just updated my charts, it looked like the, uh, you know, going from 5-4 to 5-7, that upped the damage permitted on there by a few hundred. So it wasn't a huge boost, but, you know. 5% is 5% more damage. 6% more damage. Hmm. I haven't used that for a long time. I like Brawler on the, uh, the Gulia, which is the primary, uh, the, battle, the Italian battleship I use more often. Tier 7, though, Brawler can be kind of dicey. 10% range reduction. Let's see what we're sitting at here. 15-1. Ugh. Let's go ahead and switch that. I don't think this thing's got much AA to begin with. 74. Eh, decent. We'll give it a whirl. Jeffrey, what up? Yeah, the Emily's pretty good. Pablo is your first maxed out commander? Nice. Yeah, it's a useful inspiration. It's one of like three or four battleship inspirations I'd consider. Yamato, Grober, Vanguard, Ricky. Minotaur, Achikov, Gearing, Shima, Cabo. Oh, God, we got some doozies. Jeffrey coming in hot. Thank you very much with the five spot. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys turning out, tuning in today. We got a good turnout as usual. Man, we're getting close to 250 likes now. I wonder if we can hit that number. Try to grind the Italian cruisers or the Russian heavy cruisers. Well, that's going to depend on who you ask. I don't know. I'd say probably... I mean, I... Now, it was it was disputed by the viewers, but I just said the, uh, the Russian heavy tech tree was the worst of the tier 7 tech tree cruisers. I had the Amalfi, like, second or third from the bottom. So, I mean... 
But if you're factoring in the tier five, tier six, those ones on the Russians, I, you got the Gorky, which is difficult, but it does have some uh, nasty guns. Oh, fuck. How are we getting spotted already? Uh, tier six guns are real nasty. Oh, fuck. No. God damn it. What is spotting me, man? I wonder if this guy that spawned here just made a beeline like that. Wow, this game is going real well. Might have to just sit here for a couple minutes and get some uh, heals off. I don't know. I mean, neither of those... Neither of those lines are my personal favorite, but... Both have fans. Cranky Cracker, what up? Fry some potatoes. We are being fried by the, our own potatoes today. <laughs> we had some rough patches. Sigma 6 coming in out with a hot dog. Appreciate it. I think if we could kill the Achikov and then go down, that would be a good contribution for our team. Before we die. So that is a nasty creature. Three overpens. You fuck off. What do we got? We got a Shima just getting absolutely raped by the fucking gearing. This is not going well. Spotted again. Good god, these games today have just been trash. Gorky in terms of ship names, top five, yeah. It's fun to say. I mean, the Gorky's... The Gorky's, in, you know, the guns are brutal on that thing. But the guns of every single ship in the game are brutal against it, so... It's kind of one of those deals. Ah, right, well, this is not going well here. We got access to A, but uh, that would require effort. B, we don't have a destroyer anywhere near. We do have C. Smosh, thanks for subbing. It's not completely lost yet, but it's not looking good at all. In fact, I'd say our odds of this game are hovering around the 10% mark. You know the Gearing's gonna come by and nuke us any second there, right? Are we all on the same page? <laughs> He's a smidge more angled than I am. I'm just staring intently on the map, trying to figure out what went wrong. I don't understand how he can fuck me up like that, though. Do it. See, you should be popping the smoke, because I, up until about now, I was spotting that guy. But the cop is going to die, which, yeah, they got the enemy destroyer off, which is good, but now we're destroyerless. 
Not good. Well, let's see. We'll back up into C. Or B, I mean. See if we can get that. It's going to take about 20 minutes to back into there, unfortunately. Some ships back up all right, some don't. This one clearly doesn't. <laughs> Achikov finally dies. Oh, shit, we're losing C. Vanguard. We can't get B. Not, not this. Not doing it this way, at least. Jesus. All right. You guys cannot give up C. I don't think they understand how. Bad of an idea that's going to be. God damn it. Yeah, this has been rough today. Hey, we just gotta make some risky plays, I guess. He's on C. We just have to pray that he kills the destroyer somehow. I gotta beeline it to B here. Almost certainly gonna get me killed, but what the fuck, you know? Our odds of winning the game right now are about 3%. Let's bring it up to 5% by getting on B. Maybe ramming the Grover? I don't know. This one looks over. Yeah, this one was over early. I think we got about 2 or 3 minutes into the game before this one was over. Holy God. <laughs> What's up, Nissan? How you doing? Can you just end this shit so we can move on? I feel like we've had like two competitive games the entire day. There you go. That was a fun one, right? Grober ignore me now. He had the he had the crossfire on the uh, Yamato the whole time. So he actually it was a good good shot selection I'd say. Didn't even mark the final shot. Oops. 
That was gonna be an expensive game for that guy. That's probably about a 500,000 credit loss. Man, we had some compelling action today, huh? Suzuya? Arena? I don't think Arena's on right now. Yeah, we gotta wait a few days. We're stuck with this dog shit, unfortunately. There it is. I like the way you think. The Christopher Colombo editor. I think uh, Italian battleships could be one of the possible new lines. We got Euro destroyers, Italian battleships. Um, I feel like there's a German cruiser split at some point. What else are we waiting on to catch up? No cruisers on their team. What the hell? <laughs> wow, we're getting a lot of carriers at uh, high tiers today for some reason. Another quality match brought to you by the boys in blue. Yeah, that was uh, compelling. I wish I would have recorded that one just for my own edification. Study the intricacies of that strategy. Let's kill all of our destroyers right away and then see what happens. Dutch cruisers, German heavy DD split. Heavy DD split. Oh shit. If I had known he was gonna pop a smoke, I would have turned the other way. Alright, we're gonna fucking die. Oh, okay, he's shot. There's a slight chance we could survive this. Not good. It's not a good chance. But it's worth the risk. If we can get this cloud going here, this could be juicy. Oh, he's gonna love this. Thank God for widespreads. Do an F in the chat for that launch. That's a legendary uh, destroyer right there, just throwing widespreads into a smoke cloud that's got a Suzuya in it broadside. High level strategy. Fifty thousand in two and a half minutes. <laughs> Suzuya, you gotta kill, guys. Do not let this thing sit here. If he uses normal spreads, this is already over, I think. Probably would have rage quit and uninstalled by now. Another shitty game, but at least we're going to win it. <laughs> we'll take it. Thoughts on the Montana? I did not... Uh, I'll have to play it again when I get it, but I didn't uh, personally think it was any good. 
What a fucking match. There we go. Oh, those widespreads hit us, so we gotta get the horn for our own. He's coming for us. I thought he was attacking the destroyer. Oh well. Game's already over. Try and spread out the burning love, yeah. I mean we have that was the only target we had. Yeah, in general, if you can cycle those damage controls, it's always a good idea. Look at I'm just waiting to kill my ass. There you are. <laughs> hmm. Now we just fun game after fun game today, huh? Ready to download your stats? You gotta go to. I think if you contact their customer support, because I think what's going on there's like some data protection law in the EU that mandates that uh, you can request any information that a company's compiling about you. But you should send something to Facebook uh, customer service and see what's going on there. But for our purposes, you can figure out your actual stats. So why do they don't actually just turn them on in the game at this point? I don't understand. I thought this would have happened a while ago. I mean, World of Tanks console, I don't know how it is now, but like when I was playing a few years ago... There was, like, some stats in there. Better than what we got here, I think, but they were accessible to websites that could, like, somehow farm the information and then actually put out useful stats. All right, I'm just... This high-tier games are driving me nuts. Individual ship stats. Yeah, I think if you go, I think if you request from customer service, they'll give you a breakdown of like every everything you got. So you get your your global stats and then like stats per ship. Lunch hour is over. All right, bud. Thanks for swinging by. Brother's nineteenth birthday. Give him a wood up. Benjamin, what's happening? Four minute, 30 second match. <laughs> oh, God. There's just some days where you can't, you can't squeeze anything out of it. This is one of those days. I don't think we've had one good match. That Like, if I was playing these and recording them for videos, I don't think I would have saved any of these games. Which, you know, appreciate you guys hanging out with me and sticking through it, but... The action today is absolutely trash. Customer service, yeah, go to the World of Warships Legends dot com or something like that. If you ever get into a fight with like, uh, you know, when I bought the turpits by accident, I attempted to get it back, my money back through the customer service. They gave me a, uh... but at least you could try. Like, if you accidentally, or if you sell a premium and you have the credits to buy it back, they'll let you do that at least once, I think, is the, probably the limit. But you have to do it through the customer service page. Never seemed to catch the streams live, but finally got one. I mean, this is usually the time we're playing, so if you keep that in mind. Or at least streaming. All right, Gubna, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna really hurt. This one's gonna really hurt. Let's 
It's trying to angle. I don't even think it can do that. We'll give him a little bit of a fighting chance. We'll keep the AP in there. Ah, right, who's next? Step right up. Oof, da. Oof, da Janufka. I think we could score A here. We'll see how the Monte Caccioli does. I don't want to push into a Wyoming necessarily, you know. Want to get the Benham back, but you got no money. Yeah, just grind it out. I don't know. Do they make you pay full charge, or how does that work? I've never sold a ship, so I don't... Never had to buy one back. Really aiming at me instead of this dude? All right, Omaha, you're next. Let's go. It's gonna hurt. Chicken soup for the soul. That's what they call the Konigsberg. Sold to New Orleans. What in the hell's going on, man? Why are you guys selling all your ships? Full price. But what's the full price cre uh, credit equivalent of like a premium? That's what I'm wondering. I guess it's whatever you got for selling it, presumably. Man, especially these high tier ships. That's like my number one advice for new players is don't sell your shit, especially especially your high tier ones. Because what happens is, all right, I'm going up the American battleship line first, right? I'm a brand new player, so I get New Mexico, sell the New York, then I get uh, Colorado, sell the New Mexico. Iowa, sell the Colorado, then I'm in tier 7, I'm getting 200 XP per game, losing credits up the wazoo, and now I can't play the game anymore. And that's when you're introduced to the service cost. I see you, man. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. Hello. Thanks for recognizing me. Appreciate it. We'll give him one of these. Where is the carrier? I don't know. The way this game or the day is going, I don't think we want to assume we've won the game yet. Well, let's get B first. I'm not seeing carrier planes flying around. Oh yeah, there they are right there. Thirty-seven million. Damn. Maybe I should sell some of my dog shit premiums. <laughs> we need the money. Never mind. Advice out the window. Sell your premiums.
Man, it's getting hot in here. I need intelligence data! You literally are the intelligence data. What do you need help with, man? You're bombing the carrier in the fucking corner of the map. I'm confused. What do you want? Alright, I think we got the Kraken. Come on! Oh, you bastards! Come on! Yeah, great kill, Brittany. Great kill. <laughs> you sold the John Bart? Wow. That's the principled stand. That was a principled stand. I'll give you that. I would probably... That one I would buy it back if I were you. Just give up on your morals. You know, like you say, I mean, when it came out, it was problematic, but you don't see him as much now. Oh, let's try the Jean Bart with the Dinobot. Someone was asking about Dinobot earlier. Tried it in the Richie. Now, the one game I played off stream was good, and the one game I played on stream, not as good. Shit, this Katoski's probably gonna sink his ass. The carrier just gave up or what? F. After pleading for help. John Bart overrated. Eh. That's, that's a fun one. Good shot, Jackson! sink this bastard. I'm surprised he sails over him to bomb me. You know? The Benham? I didn't like the Benham when it came out. I don't know if it got buffed or not, but I think I like it more now. Well, I don't think it had the uh, Gleaves when it came out. If I'm remembering the turn of events properly. See if he's coming back for more. Five minutes to sink this bastard. He's on a Rhine, no wonder he smoked my ass. Took like half our health in one hit. Alright, here we go! Why is this dude not shooting, is the real question. <laughs> there you go. Stop. Just sitting there. I think we got it. No! Got it! <whistles> that some bitch wasn't cooperating. Let's try it out. So normally I run Dunkirk. 
who's got the, sh the shell switcher. Basically, if you if you don't screw up and wait and you wait until all your guns are reloaded, then you can basically switch your shells from HE to AP or vice versa in one second. Very, very powerful. Got the heal, got the uh, slot three dispersion. We got our anti AA in slot one. But if we put on this guy over here, what are we dealing with? Well, we got our heals still. Base trait plays into the. Uh, see the double axe over here? Plays into the unique play style of this one. What's this? Well, it's this little uh, sniper rifle thing here. Shop shooter, as they say in Boston. Increase main battery shell grouping while enhanced secondary target is active. And if we, uh... We could level it up relatively easily. Seven commendations. 20% boost. Plus the built-in... Now, this is grouping, I think, right? Yeah, grouping. So that's on top of the five we got with a Max Cunningham. We're running 25%, you know, more well-grouped shells. And you'll see, assuming we can stay alive for more than five minutes here, we'll see a couple decent shots. 249 likes. Holy smokes. Let's see if we can run it up to 250. Want to try gas cone? I've never heard anyone say that. <laughs> Meta's on crack in 1235. Yeah, he's probably pretty close. Oh my god. We got a tier 7 game without the... Fun police. Major Tom! Ground control to Major Tom. Let's see if he goes into outer space. Yeah, we got a problem here because we got three destroyers. It's not an inherent problem. If this guy deploys in the middle, then we're golden. But if he sees these two guys and he's like, oh my god, I got to play right by him, then this match could be tough. Thinking about buying the Pablo? Oh yeah. That would be probably my number one recommended ship to get. I got a lot of coverage over the last like month or two on the Pablo. Seen up worth getting? Yeah, it should still be. I mean, it, it took a little bit of a nerf last update. I need intelligence. Well, you're, luckily for you, you're going all the way to the west, which is irrelevant, so you don't actually need intelligence data. You're not going to be able to shoot anything for five minutes anyways. Alright, so we got a Benham, Zinyang, and a Yudachi. Oof. Be on the lookout for those guys. Came so close to the damage record. It's only 208? No way, are you serious? Here's where we want the shell switcher. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. I didn't get a shot off on any of these. All right, let's try the perk. Where's my goddamn? I don't even have the fucking consumable needed to activate the build. Where is the slot? Hey, go! Where would the secondary option be on the reload boost? Nah, this isn't the ship for that build. The Richie, it works fine. When you lead all into a build and then you don't have the consumable to activate it. It's just that kind of day. 
Oh, boy. He doesn't even have the screamers on there. That didn't work. Two hundred fifty seven. That sounds a little more reasonable. Achievable, though. Man, you ram into a couple black holes. You got that, no problem. Should buy in? You out of here? All right, we'll see ya. Thanks for hanging. Man, the consumables. Use the reload boost and then we can't shoot. Roll into battle with the secondary reload booster build. Don't have the fucking consumable. This game doesn't even look remotely competitive. <laughs> Alright. Can I get on B without the crossfire from C hitting me? I don't think we can. We might take one shot. We'll see. Eh, we might get away from this. Or get away with it. Benham, Benham, Benham! Here's a double! Ah, you bastards. That didn't cost us too much. What's up, Adam? Offer you play the Dookie de Asta as rarely as possible. Alain torpedoes? I think so. Probably keep that in mind. Here's Major Tom. Yeah, we might get boned here. Let's even get something done here. This guy just doesn't give a fuck about anything. <laughs> Ground control. The major Tom. Something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? The victory 
Hmm. Oh, they're four kilometer torps? Okay. Well, I mean, they were in play there. They got us. Let's just investigate. Clearly, that's not the right commander for that ship, but if we wanted to... Yeah, we're not putting the reload... Forget it. Back to this chick. Alright, let's try it on here so we can actually see it. <laughs> Your ears are killing this. <laughs> Major Tom. Well, there's two Major Toms. There's the one that I was singing there, kind of. And then there's the one you're thinking of. Then. Do, 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 do. Four, three, two, one. I don't know who this Major Tom guy is, but he's got two songs about him. Pretty good. Yeah, the Bart needs the Dunkirk, no doubt. I just I didn't even think about it. I just assumed it had the secondary build to go, ready to go. <laughs> I mean, there's no, we're basically getting the same exact build with the Dunkirk, but we're losing the auto shell switcher. And instead we're putting on a perk that has no relevance <laughs> whatsoever. Because we can't activate it. Now nah, we only lost about 10 viewers with the singing. That's not too bad. We'll think, eh. Remind me about the Benham. Maybe we could bust it out. Alright, so once again, now that we got the secondary thing in play here, when we activate it, the shell grouping should be super tight. Oh, fuck. Or we get sunk in one shot by this fucking thing. Hello? Monsieur Davy! Alright, we'll see. You can see the groupings are there, it's just whether we got the aim or not. Oh, he thinks I'm not going to fuck him up right here. I guess he's on to something. Should drop us from spot. Nope. Apparently we're getting spotted from over here. That is not good. Now we got cross torp pressure that's going to kind of force us to play out here. The Marley. They're on our home cap. God, you legends. You guys are legendary. And he got off a of B. He must have got a radar. Here's the torps that we predicted. There you are, you little fuck. Man.
How does he got another smoke already? out of range. Jesus Christ, guys. Alright, we're gonna get A. Unfortunately, that guy didn't nab B. I think the Marley scared him off with the radar, would be my guess. I can't believe he would be that dumb just to get off it when he was halfway through the cap. I mean, it wouldn't be the dumbest thing we've seen today, but... I don't think we have really any crossfire pressure there. I'm trying to wrap this side up. We need to get these caps under control here. So if I can score some hits in the side here. Yeah, they got a Baltimore, which can damage us for sure. They got the Minotaur, which can damage us. Oh, we got a fucking destroyer here. Shima, fuck. That's a problem. We gotta make a play here. Otherwise, this game... We're up on points right now, but not for long. Shit, he got us. We're already dead. Oh, nope, he missed. What the fuck? It doesn't even seem like there's pressure over here. It's just this one lone Wusta. So these guys should be on the cap, like, right now. You gotta recognize what's stopping you from making the plays, right? So, we got four guys trembling back here. You can smell the piss running down their legs. Uh, we got a Wusta that cannot protect itself. God damn it, I'm gonna hit that thing. Like, what? why are we not rushing the fuck out of the Wooster? Should be the question everyone's asking themselves. What would possibly stop us from doing that? Alright, Gabna. Now, the crossfire torpedo from the Shima is a, the correct answer, but that's not a problem for these guys. There's nothing stopping them. Yeah, they got plenty of wiggle room. Alright, let's do a group. Oh, come on! Man. It's been tough. It's got a few guns, yeah, but I can't, like, uh, the Grober, for instance, shoving him in, you know, shoving into him, what's he gonna do? I mean, if they lose that fight, that's their own fucking fault, you know, at that point. It's not like the Shima, which can auto-kill you if you get too close to it, you know what I'm saying? There's, how do I refer to it on my videos? Um... Trying to remember. I don't. Basically, the concept is like. In that instance, you would want to push as far forward until you're stopped physically by a threat, right? Because we want C, we want D. What's preventing us from doing that? Usually, it's going to be booming battleship threats or destroyers in the area. You know? That's why we're sitting back here terrified. But just because being terrified is the default position, that's not the correct answer. At least in my mind. At 
I mean, we're up, uh, what, two ships and we're up a couple points. Trying to get his other torp on me. I don't know what the torp angles are on that thing, but I, I believe they're pretty good. I don't think he can torp me from that. I'd be really surprised, but... Oh, here's our buddy. Here's who we've been looking for. You're being sarcastic. No, I know it. I, I know you are, but... I mean, like... Technically, if you play that horribly wrong, like coming around broadside, and you miss a shot or two, then you could lose in that instance. But, you know. There's no reason those guys were huddling back there in terror for as long as they were. I guess the point I'm trying to make. Where's the Shima Torps? There they are. Hold her steady. Like, this thing could maybe kill us by the time we rushed it. If he was getting consistent spotting. Eh, uh, fuck. Or if he torps us because we're ignoring the obvious. God damn it! <laughs> All I wanted to do was kill that fucker. Everybody abandoned their spawn and did circles in the back. <laughs> yeah, we've seen at least two of those today. This game is a... There's a lot of... Isoroku Yamamoto's running around out there. With the tactics and strategy these days. Secondary booster for the Minotaur. Oh, yeah. We do have the commander on there, but... Yeah. I wanted to get the juicy broadside shot. We're just letting the crew off on the beach since we know we're about to die. Anyone who wants off, now's your chance. Look at my good game though. That wasn't looking too hot for a while, but I think, uh, not to take all the credit, but I think moving from the mid to that side kind of loosened things up. Here we go. God, God, I completely forgot how to aim at some point. The fire in the Bronx? Yeah, that was a pretty bad one. Whew. Yeah, those apartment building fires, you don't want to be involved with one of those. Five guys over 2,000. That's a pretty good team. Kincaid. Just what the doctor ordered. Let's see where we're at here. Well, actually, we got a few wins lately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're actually above 500, which is shocking. If you if you sweated it out the first couple hours. You'd be real surprised. Yeah, what are you guys in the mood for? Favorite tier six DDs. Hmm.
I know it's not the Cossack. Probably the kid. Oh, the Benham. We did have a request for the Benham. Okay. Yeah, the Benson's good. And Leningrad's definitely solid. Uh, the Biscuit's an old fan favorite. Kiev, I bet, is pretty badass since they buffed it. Yeah, I'd probably go... Kid, Terrible, Leningrad. Whatever order you want. Wait, what am I looking for? Benham? Oh, this is Benson. The Minsk. I always liked the mints to begin with, but I think it took a couple big uh, buffs, didn't it? Oh, you work in Manhattan? Makarov, Russian Nuremberg, yeah, pretty much. Man, we're getting shards a lot today. Yeah, we got one destroyer. We got a biscuit versus Benham. Gorky, Nuremberg, York. York's probably the biggest threat. I'd say York and Nuremberg. And the Gorky. We gotta be wary of all those. I'd... Biscuit. Eh. As long as I don't fuck it up, I should be able to take a Biscuit. Biscuit's guns hit pretty hard. You don't want to underestimate it, but... Minsk is very good. Yeah, maybe we should give the Minsk a whirl after this. Mini Shima, better guns. Well, what do we got here? We got 7-9 on my range. You guys might have better range. I think I got Gleaves. I would assume I do. I don't think the guns are that great on this, are they? Or does it just feel worse because the other ones have 5 guns? This only has 4. 20% reduction in output. You know, it's going to feel a little bit different. We'll try and play the mid if we get... Pressure will get off of there. The like to spot as much of the map here as we can. Get some intelligence data for these guys. Biscuit. Uh, this is not what I wanted to have happen. Hmm. So now my options are kind of limited. I want to get on C just looking at the map and with the plays that are available, but I can't get to C. And me and this biscuit are just going to sit here with our thumbs up our asses, which is shitty. But I don't want to get torped right off the bat. He's got pretty solid support here as well. This is a risky spot. Those might hit him. I don't know. Let's see if he's... Looks like he's turning in hard now. Let's see if we can get away with this. It's these damn planes, you can't hit anything these days. That's all we got on that thing, huh? Smoke 
Green set. Alright, I'm looking at this thing here. It should have a crossfire into him. I know we should have him with one torp as well, but if he pushes us, we're probably going to die here. There we go. Alright. I haven't seen any launches come out of the biscuit for a minute. I think we'll come around the other side of the island to kind of give him a little surprise. Let's see if we can make this work. Alright. He might proxy spot me before we actually get around there, so I probably want to hug like this corner here. Because right now he's like, okay, this dude's coming here. And these torps are kind of reinforcing that in his mind. He's like, alright, he's going to come through this gap. I'm going to have my torps ready, guns ready. He should not be expecting this play. The one danger we got is if these guys... Oh. He's got a three kilometer proxy spot on here? Are you fucking kidding me? What is with these goofballs running these builds like this? Alright, well, advantage, uh... Biscuit. You never see that in the wild, which is why it's always, uh... Hey, go! It's always kind of challenging when it actually happens. If you don't understand what happened there, he has the slot 3 proximity spot mod on his ship instead of the concealment mod, which is... You know, you can go to the bank 98% of the time the destroyers will have the concealment mod in there. But what that does is in that situation... Rather than the two kilometer auto detect that I had, uh, which is how we spotted him in the smoke. Once he's within two kilometers, then we see him. He could see us when we're within three kilometers. Normally, you would see that map mod on the battleships only because they're forced to take it almost always. A few of the battleships have the option for concealment mods, but uh, that's not a build that they've let be used uh, with any consistency. So, that, that'll throw you for a loop. Unfortunately for him, it looked like he must have already used the torps. He should have been able to convert that for a kill with that extra kilometer of uh, info that he had over us. What's up, Martin? How long is Zuma's going to be on sale for? I don't know for sure. Probably for a while, though, because it's coming out as a green XP ship, right? It's either a cracking game or you die in 30 seconds with the pod. <laughs> Feast or famine? No one expects the RGA mod, that's true. But I would never use it because the concealment mod is always going to be beneficial, and that one's only going to be beneficial when you're getting rushed by a Benham. Or, uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's like the AA modules on the ships right now. I would never put them on there. I mean, never is a long time, but I would very, very rarely put them on there because Tier 7, Legendary Tier, how often are there carriers? And we've seen, like, two today, and that feels like a lot, you know? Enemy team lost all its points. Yeah, that was a fun one. That was like the first interesting game I think we've had all day. <laughs> Fuck it. Going again. You're starting to dig the Azuma cranky? Hmm. The Duke? Yeah, we played the Duke earlier. We were getting some good damage, but then I forgot you can't get shot in that thing. And then we got shot, and it was over. Alright, what do we got here? We got the Fushin T61 Z35. 
with some pretty good uh, cruiser support here, so we got to be careful. All these ships we can outgun, but the T-61, Z-35 do have the smoke sonar. Many of them say limited offer. Yeah, I think that's probably legalese. I don't know why. Which jurisdiction in the world would be dumb enough to, like, if you offer something once, you have to always have it on sale? How would that fucking work? Makes no sense. But whatever reason, they put it on there. Might just be to counter the complainers when they're like, Oh, I, I thought it was supposed to be on there. Alright, so they're kind of leaving over here. Especially if, once this New Orleans is clear by here. Now the Bayern, he can get a couple shots on us, but... I'd be pretty worried as that destroyer. Ooh, Indianapolis. Got a radar cruiser right behind us. We are getting uh, detected. I, it's possible it's the New Orleans. There are American cruiser commanders that have the twist and track, the radio locator. Uh, I think Einstein is the only one. Maybe there's more than one. But it's almost certainly the destroyer that was... We were the closest one to him. Oh, oh shit, we got the wrong shell. Generator started. Fuck. Stop right there, criminal scum! You violated the law. Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes to port. Hello. He's like, man, this sucks. <laughs> he goes right back to the beach. Main man is not digging this. Luckily for him, I can't fucking aim for some reason. Back to the beach. Why am I going high every fucking time? What in the hell is going on here? Apparently I have no idea how to aim. Got the sheriff on your ass. All 
All right, we'll go grab B. We'll drop spot when we get behind this island, I think. Because this guy's out of our range. Hopefully. No, nope, I think we're going to hand off the spotting to him. So we will be spotted for another 10 seconds or so. You can hand off the spotting. What that means is he was spotting me up here. Uh, we blocked the line of sight via that island there. But as we came around the island, he can see us with our extended range. So you do have to be aware of that. What? Jesus. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. He's our prey. Gotta be worried about this Gorky. Right now I'm looking at that battleship to the south on the map. That's why we popped the smoke. Plus the idea that we got a couple uh, ships in our firing range. So we can actually utilize the smoke. Offensively. Which is our want. Alright. Here's our final target. We're just gonna rush. Oh, we're actually losing the fucking game. I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, all we gotta do is kill the destroyer and then our duties are done. But I see that was foolish. T61. I think he had about two thirds health, if I recall. So the thing about the Gorky is if I can get him on the side, close range, I can wreck him. But we're going to have to trade a lot of HP here to get this. If we even kill him. It's not a guarantee. You got fucked up, my boy. That torp, if that's your main strategy for winning the fight, you're a, you got a 10% chance. Assuming the other dude isn't relying on his torps. Let's find out where the Gorky is. Oh, fuck. No, oh, that is a fucking problem right there. The Gorky I didn't have a problem with. The hell out of is this game over. Yes. He gives us a chance. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Kill that fucker.
Oh, you're kidding me! Okay, what a fucking throw by the red team. That was a fucking throw and a half right there. Alright, we're losing C. As long as this guy doesn't kill himself, which would be a 75 points. Or go suicide rush the guy in C if you want to do something productive. I don't know, it's... we still got four minutes left. It's not over, but... Oh, those guys fucked that up real bad. Sigma-6 coming in hot! GG, thank you very much. This could be an epic match if we wind up winning this. I don't know if we will or not. Helena needed to rush us. That's a massive mistake. Gorky, do not go broadside. Those are your two keys. There's a 0% chance we should have won the fight against a Gorky and a Helena. But he had to get over to his fucking cap that was already being captured. What a throw, man. Quacking? Nah, we're not concerned about that. I'm I'm pretty worried about this guy killing himself, because then we gotta defend B. Get back. Dude. Take a win once in a while. <laughs> now he's like, let me uh charge a Helena. Let's see how this goes. These are the fucking ideas that these guys come up with. In what uh, scientists insist are functioning brains. It's probably too late at this point in time, even if he kills himself, but... Don't open the door. That was a bit sad to watch. <laughs> that it. It happens, man. If you get the Gorky broadside, you get fucked up, you know. No, dude. Why are you getting shot? Holy fuck. 230 minus 75 would be what? John, thanks for subbing. 230 minus 75, that'd be like a buck 40. They don't have enough time to make that up, so I think this should be loss proof. You really had to miss one last final Torp salvo, didn't you? Just to make it interesting. You couldn't live with yourself wondering what if I missed one more salvo. That was a pretty good comeback, though. I mean, it, that was more of a throw than a comeback, but we at least executed the play. <laughs> Must get damage. <laughs> Literally, all you had to do was not get spotted, and then boom. How the fuck? The ship has like a five kilometer concealment range. How do you get spotted by the battleship? All right, we'll give him one of these. Nice work. That was a great battle. Even if he dies now, it should be loss proof. Don't even fuck with me. The real question is, why is the hell in the knot on B? Thank you, Jack. A lot of DDs don't know they can shoot AP. Well, that's a good point, yeah. I mean, ships like that, the Gorky, or a lot of, like, the Tier 4, Tier 3 cruisers. That's why if you got uh, Citadel missions, and the game allows it, if it'll allow you to do Tier 4, a lot of times the uh, Farrah gets a great option there. Because those low-tier cruiser players, they'll let you get close to them and just farm their sides. 
All right, well. That was a good one. 3,400, we'll take that. I didn't think that was possible to win that one for a long time. Until that Gorky, and the, it was basically the Helena leaving the Gorky to die. Because even if the Gorky kills himself like he did, the Helena still should have been bombing on me. Which ends the game. So, you know. <laughs> Anyone on the red team that wants to ask, or wants to say, yo, you owe me a win, send your letters to the Helena. He fucked it up. All right, guys, appreciate it. We got 277 likes on the books. We'll probably end it there. Maybe if you can get it up to 300 before we go, definitely appreciate it. Let's take a look at the old... We turned it around today because early on I just wasn't playing the best and my team was just shit in the bed. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at one, two, three, four... Five, six, ten and six. Still not awesome, but a lot better than four and six like we were earlier. Ten divided by sixteen. Sixty-two point five. So that's right around my actual win rate. I guess we'll we'll take it. Donos today, we had Sigma six. Did I miss? I think I missed one here. I got a buck forty nine and then a two ninety nine. I apologize for missing the one. I unless I saw it, but I only recall the one. Regardless, thank you very much. Either way, Jeffrey, Jack, Toe Cutter, uh, Good Cartoon donated, John Paul Smith, Carlos. Lots of donos today, guys. Appreciate it all. And we got a new member, Matt Carter. So once again, member stream will be next Sunday, the 16th. And I'll post some info out of that on the uh, community page, of course. Can't win them all, no, but nah, that, was, that was a good job turning that around because that was a dog shit session for a while there. But winning five in a row to close it out. Six in a row. We'll take it. Appreciate it, guys. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the stream. Appreciate you guys all hanging out. We're up to 288. I know we can get 300. We might have to wait till the stream ends to get 300. I don't know. 10.30 U.S. time Sunday will be the... Or central time. That'll probably that'll be the guaranteed start time, but we might go a little bit early too, All right? So, you know, keep your head on a swivel. So now that I'm like, uh, I quit chewing on the thirtieth of December, so we're twelve days in. That shaves an hour off of my morning routine. <laughs> so, sometimes I can get going a little bit earlier. <laughs> 